we're sat in France, of course, French-based conglomerate that you uh, work for, but you are a very international business. If we focus on Havas first and foremost, presence in Asia, Europe, the United States, where is growing fastest for you at the moment? I mean, that's true that we're making 80% of our revenue outside France, our largest country in the US by far, almost uh, more than a third. But we are growing very, very fastly in uh, Asia, especially in China and India. But we can see also a lot of growth in the US and uh, also in the UK and some uh, more mature economies such as France as well. UK, interesting. Considering yeah. the amount of concern about the economy there in terms of political instability, but the consumer is still there, so therefore the people want to advertise? Yes, that's interesting because it's been, I think, three years from now that the Brexit has been uh, voted. I remember it was in Cannes three years ago. Yeah. I was going to, uh, to bed on the Thursday night uh, and the Remain was leading. And when I woke up uh, the next day, the Brexit uh, finally uh, uh, won. Everybody was shocked in our industry, as you can imagine. People were more in favor of uh, Remain. But still, three years later, I mean, the investment haven't slowed down. Uh, we even have moved our European headquarters from Paris to London. Really? And I can see yeah, that the business is pretty, pretty good and pretty solid in the UK. What about the consumer in general, particularly as we enter this era of geopolitical instability, no matter where you look to a certain yeah. extent? Is the U.S. consumer still there, still driving force in terms of the U.S. economy? Yeah, the U.S. is still a very, very strong uh, economy. But it's been six years I've been CEO at Havas now, and in six years there's been a lot of change in the consumer behavior. We can really see now more and more consumers want to consume uh, brands that they are perceived as being meaningful. So more and more of our clients are trying to do some purposeful campaign. So uh, all the generation, not only the youngest generation, wants to buy more, I would say, uh, out of meaningful brands with purpose. It's a big change. The rise of Gen Z, don't we know it? What about China? You're saying Asia is still a great growth presence, India, China. With concern about the US-Chinese relationship, yeah. Have you seen any change in the desire of Chinese companies to be advertising in the West, to be advertising in the U.S. and vice versa? Well, that's a very important question. I mean, the U.S. is the largest uh, advertising economy. China is now number two. We are very strong in both uh, countries, so we monitor, we monitor the situation very closely. What I can tell now is I don't see any slowdown now in terms of investment, but uncertainty, as you know, is very bad for business. So I really hope that, uh, that we find a way to end this uh, war very rapidly. I think maybe I'm doing wishful thinking, but I, I like to be an optimistic guy. I think by the end of the year, everybody will have found an agreement. I think it's better for everyone. We'll see if Trump and she make any sort of headway in the G20. Your perspective on what's also not slowing down is M&A, particularly in this sector, the advertising sector. We've got Accenture making deals. We've got publicists making deals. Are you looking to make deals? How do you find the industry evolving? Yeah, I think Avas is always making a lot of deals. We are doing between five and 12 acquisitions a year for the last six years. So it's, it's a very active M&A pipeline. What I'm very... Um, what well, I'm satisfied of is that the advertising agencies are very attractive from M&A standpoint. You see a lot of new uh, companies from different roles, such as uh, consultants, wanting to invest into advertising. I really believe that uh, advertising agencies has, uh, have a bright future ahead of it. What about the relationship of yourself, the advertising community, the brands, with the big social media platforms? There is a lot of regulatory scrutiny on them at the moment, concern about the overall power that they have within the system. Is this something that resonates with you? Yeah, of course. We work hand in hand with those platforms since the beginning, huh, to be honest. And we've taking uh, uh, these issues very seriously, so does uh, the different platforms. I mean, at Avaz, for instance, we have created tools to make sure that brands that advertise on social platform can do it in a safe and positive environment. And once again, I think it's, uh, it would be unthinkable not to advertise on social platforms uh, uh, in the world of today. This is where the consumers spend uh, most of their time. But we need to guarantee to our clients to find a positive environment. But it's, you know, complexity serves agency pretty well. So I think it's good for us that uh, the world and the ecosystem is getting more complex. I want to focus in on your chairmanship of Vivendi as well. Let's talk about potential deals there. Universal Music Group, one that you're looking to potentially uh, spin off. Any appetite there? When do you think a deal might be made? We didn't say that we wanted to, to spin off Universal Music Group. I mean, the, the, the supervisory board of Vivendi is working with the management board in order to try to find a strategic or a financial partner up to 50% uh, of the shares to accelerate the growth of UMG. As you may know, the uh, music industry is uh, going through a huge period of growth. I mean, the, the business is uh, thriving, and we want to make sure we can uh, accelerate this growth in the coming years. So uh, for now, we have communicated that we want to open 
a, a process before the end of 2019 and all the management of Vivendi is very confident that the process is still on track. Uh, on the right track. So a deal done by 2019 or just the process? Just the process to open, but you know we are not in a hurry. Vivendi is doing very well, UMG is doing very well. The question is how to find uh, the right partner uh, up to 50% uh, once again, but everything's fine, trust me.